Hello everyone, my name is Stephen Fox. Welcome to my channel. Well, we're having just a wild breakout bullish rally that's inspired by artificial intelligence. I have five fabulous stocks, but now I've added two more and I'm thinking of calling them the Super 7. <laughs> The Super 7 AI stocks, simply because Super Microcomputer, SMCI, is just leaving the others in the dust. AI in general is leaving the other stocks behind. This is a breakout inspired by artificial intelligence, and it's carrying the whole market upwards. And Super Microcomputer, I started following that about two years ago. I was in like, I think I was in the hundreds even at one point, but mostly in the 200s and 300s. And the dream was that it would hit 500 someday. It ended Valentine's Day at 880 and it surpassed NVIDIA. The question used to be, is Super Microcomputer the next NVIDIA? We might change that to, will NVIDIA be the next Super Microcomputer? Just joking. I recently was thinking of dropping out of artificial intelligence for a while to let things settle down. I was going to, but then I saw the market taking off like a rabbit on Valentine's Day and I FOMO'd in. I just bought, bought, and bought some more. And I ended up the day making about 20,000. I would have made about 50,000 had I just stayed in. This is the first thing I try to follow for myself. I violated a basic rule of mine. I was punished for it. I only made 20,000 instead of 50,000. <laughs> you remember things like this. Basically, the rule is when you're in a breakout ra rally like this, a wild breakout rally, which is what this is, and you know what's doing it, it's artificial intelligence, you hang on until there's a clear sign that you have to get out. And there was no clear sign that I had to get out. I think... I I was influenced by watching some bears on YouTube saying how oh, this can't go on, but, but it does go on when you're in a breakout. The rule is don't get out too early until you have a clear sign. Set your stop limit sell signs so it gets you out. I usually set it at about 4%, but that doesn't work with Super Microcomputer, SMCI. And the reason it doesn't work, it's too volatile. It stops, out, it stops you out and sells the stock when you don't want it to be sold. And so what you end up doing is you keep going to the low points during the day and it ends up working against you. And so that's why I would have made 50000 instead of 20000 I finally realized I got to get out of these stop limit orders on Super Microcomputer simply because it's too variable and it's triggering too easily. Uh, part of the reason I was hesitant is to start going into the 800s. You know, I'm saying to myself, hey, I was looking at this at two and 300 and it's already more than doubled. What am I doing? But when you're in a breakout like this, it doesn't really uh, follow reason. It follows FOMO because everybody else else is FOMOing in too. It doesn't hurt to FOMO if everybody else is FOMOing. FOMOing isn't always wrong. You just got to know when to do it. And it certainly was time to do it. And I'm hoping I can stay in it. I'm not going to use the stop limit loss order, a stop limit sell order, because it'll trigger too easily. And I'm just going to watch it like a hawk during the day because it ends up being most of my gains anyway. Part of the reason it went up is because Barclays raised their estimate of how high it would go to 961. Okay, it's well on the way. I think it's on the road to 900. It's, it's sort of already the, at 900. The question is 1,000. I can't even believe it. But this Barclays analyst set the price at 961, which I think is part of the reason why it, it shot up suddenly. And looking at the chart of my two superstars, the five-day chart, NVIDIA, NVDA, went up almost 13%. And super microcomputer 
computer went up 51% in five days. Is that like 10% a day? Wow. And this next chart, I like to think of this as my A team because their symbols all start with A. And in five days, advanced micro devices, AMD, uh, made about 1%. ASML uh, made about 5%, almost 5%. AVGO, which is Broadcom, uh, made almost 4%. These act more like regular stocks, but they're carried forward by the artificial intelligence movement of which they are a significant part. And the last two stocks and most recent additions to my Super 7 AI stocks are Insight Enterprises, whose symbol is NSIT, and Vertive Holdings, whose symbol is VRT. And I think of these as consulting firms in many ways. Insight is a computer retailer and also provides consulting and programming for different enterprises. Vertive Holdings, they more or less do electrical equipment, which I think is mainly for data centers, and it's involving computers and the internet. And looking at the chart, you can see that Vertive Holdings, VRT, made about 6%, while Insight Enterprises made about 3%. So these two stocks are very nice additions, as they are doing very nicely, and will continue to do nicely as the artificial intelligence movement grows. So that's the way it is. We have a tiger by the tail with SMCI and it gives me conniptions trading it. It is very worthwhile for me and it certainly has been. And the trick is not bail out too soon in these breakouts. They usually go far and fast, much further than you think they're going to go in my experience. When it comes time that they're turning or we have a major nightmare event, a black swan as they call it. If we have that sort of thing happen, I'll be one of the first to start shorting. If that looks appropriate, I will be letting you know that I'm doing that. I'm capable of doing a bull market. I'm capable of doing a bear market. I've made money in both. You got to know when to switch. There's some bears on YouTube that seemingly cannot make the switch. You've got to do that with the stock market. If you're going to choose between being a bull and a bear, it's usually always a better to be a bull. The market goes up most of the time. So basically, when you're a bear, you're betting on the market actively goes down. But the trouble is, when it goes down, it really goes down. And they remember how rewarding it was to short. And I think a lot of them just get addicted to it. I know it was harder for me to recognize that things were turning bullish because I was used to, of shorting during 2022. But I'm in full <laughs> bullish mode now, and I plan to continue that way. Uh, please leave me a like if I've helped you with this information. Be sure to come back and see how things pan out. These are certainly very interesting times. Thank you.